You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, we're going to calculate the compression of a loaded spring to give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the FE Exam. This Pass the FE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. This week's problem was created and solved by Enrique Ivers, an engineer in training. Enrique, take it away. You can count on seeing a spring constant problem or two during the FE exam. In this example, we're going to calculate the maximum compression of a loaded spring. The problem reads, a disc with a mass of one kilogram, a diameter of 10 centimeters, and a width of five centimeters is placed on edge at the top of an inclined ramp one meter high. The ramp is inclined at 15 degrees. At the bottom of the ramp is a spring whose spring constant is 2,000 newtons per meter. The disc rolls down the ramp and compresses the spring while coming to a complete stop. What is the maximum compression of the spring? Our answer options are A, 4.5 centimeters, B, 9.9 .9 centimeters, C, 12.2 centimeters, or D, 15.0 centimeters. Problems like this usually come with a visual aid, but it may not. If it doesn't, it may benefit you to sketch one. We note that the disc's height is one meter. The only force exerted on the disc is gravity. Therefore, at the top of the ramp, all energy is gravitational potential energy. After sliding down the ramp and fully compressing the spring at the bottom, all energy is spring potential energy. Therefore, mass and height are the only variables that impact the amount of energy. We can search the FE handbook for a number of keywords. When we search for spring, we find the following equations on page 120 within the dynamic section. As we identified prior, all energy is gravity field potential energy when the disk is at the top of the ramp. We see that this is given by equation V equals MGH. After the disc slides down the ramp at the spring's maximum compression, all energy is elastic potential energy given by the equation V equals one half KS squared. We can assume conservation of energy in this problem because we're not told otherwise. Therefore, we can set both equations equal to each other. We isolate unknown variable S with the intent to solve. We substitute in our values, one kilogram for mass, m, 9.81 meters per second squared for gravity, g, one meter for height, h, and 2,000 newtons per meter for the spring constant, k. We then find that s, the maximum compression of the spring, is equal to 0 0.099 meters, or 9.9 .9 centimeters. Going back to our list of possible answers, we see that this is answer B and choose it accordingly. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button and you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a specific problem that you need solved. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.